This chapter will be defined by a sea of Honolulu blue and silver, the way it was meant to be. Inside a Ford field that's bursting at the seams, one pride shows up. Inspired by yesterday's heroes, handed off to today's. But it doesn't matter where we suit up. When we punch in, we're going to rep our town. There's no doubt. This city is who we are and what we play for. It's Detroit versus everybody. In every stadium, every game, every snap. NFC North, the black and blue division. Four-story teams contending to be king, but there can only be one. We'll be the one with more grit, more attitude, more drive, that foot always on the gas. After all, this is the Motor City, and we are the Lions. So, yeah, the time is here. April 18th, the Lions, New Jerseys have just dropped, like, literally 10 minutes after I started recording this video. So, yeah, we're going to talk about the New Jerseys here. And, of course, um, well, now the, now the whole uniform has been leaked with the helmets and everything and all that. And we get to see what the uniform combos possibly could look like. So, yeah. We're gonna talk about that here, cause yeah, I think because it's not often you're not often you see a jersey and you new uniform reveal. Like new uniform reveals come out every few years or so. But yeah, but yeah, good to see that we get the new uniforms are out. And honestly, I'll just say this: new uniforms, it's a massive upgrade over what we had the last couple years, one hundred percent. Like, especially these new the new jerseys. Like these new jerseys are fucking super hot fire. Like, they're so fucking good. But I mean, with the new jerseys, I'll be honest, these the new jerseys, the home and away jerseys, it gives me a lot of vibes from the 90s jerseys, which is what it was rumored what the new jerseys were going to be the last couple months. It was rumored that it was going to be the old 90s retro jersey, but with a modern twist on it. And I think they look pretty good. I mean, the blues, it just has the number and all that. But the whites, some um, the white jerseys have um the Detroit on the logo on the front right above the number. And of course the big news that came out, other than the fact that the blue and the white jerseys don't have the William, WCF William Clay Ford patch. Which honestly, thank God that patch is not on the jerseys anymore. Thank fucking God for that. Like honestly, that patch, the only tradition that patch ever brought in was losing under William Clay Ford. And it's a new era of Lions football. Time to leave that past era behind. Like, honestly, it was long overdue to get rid of that patch. And honestly, that WCF patch outstayed its welcome for a long-ass time. So, thank God that patch is gone. It's still on the helmet still, but, you know, hey, that's more of a nitpick, if anything. At least it's off the fucking jersey. So, that's good there. And, of course, um, you know, we got the silver pants still. We got the blue pants, and we got the uh, white pants still, so... So don't worry, folks, we can still do the blueberries in the white out, or the icy white popsicle, whatever the fuck you want to call the all whites. I honestly call it the white out, if anything. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty cool, too. And of course, the big news that also came out of this, though, was, of course, the gray jerseys are officially gone. And uh, we now have the black jerseys officially make its comeback. And honestly, these black jerseys, it's the first time the Lions have worn a black jersey since 2007, which was Megatron's rookie, Calvin Johnson's rookie season. So yeah, it's good to see the black jerseys back. And honestly, the, this black jersey is a hell of a lot better than the black ones we had in the 2000s. That's for fucking sure. 
Now, I know there have been a lot of people that complain about not wanting the Blacks back because of all the losing in the 2000s and not understanding the hype around it. One thing I don't understand with the black jersey is all the fucking hate around it. I mean, well, everyone's saying because of the lose and all that. Well, keep in mind, that was in the 2000s. This is 2024. It's a whole new different era of Lions football now than what we had 20 years ago. And I'll be honest here. Well, I'll just say this. If the Lions go out in the all-black uniform and win a cup, win some games in it, Everyone will forget about what happened in the 2000s and won't give a flying fuck about all the losing in the 2000s. No one will give a fuck about that except Packers, Bears, and Viking fans that want to still keep living in the fucking past because they smoked that fucking copium too much. But it's not about them, it's about the Lions thing. And of course, um, the helmets, though, they're the same helmet as last year, but, it's, but, but the only difference is now the helmet has a blue face mask on it. So yeah, that's actually an upgrade. It's more of an upgrade, minor upgrade nitpick on the helmet. Which honestly, that makes the helmet a lot better. Honolulu blue and silver, to be honest. I honestly, I honestly felt like that blue, the blue should have been on that helmet a long time ago. At least the Lions now put it in. But also, in terms of the black jerseys, though, you know one thing that would that will get fans to not hand the black jerseys so much. The fact that Dan Campbell was requesting the black jerseys ever since he first got back to Detroit when he took the head coaching job three, four years ago. Three years ago. Where where Dan Campbell wanted the black jerseys back in the Fort Rod Ford, Rod Wood, and Sheila Ford Ham all told Dan Campbell they would bring back the black jerseys when, when he brings the Lions a division title. And well, as you saw with the uniform reveal... And with last year, last year with the Lions winning the NFC North last year and making the NFC title game, Dan Campbell lived up to his end of the deal. And of course, tonight, the Lions lived up to their end of the deal with the black jerseys. I mean, it was a pretty cool, cool reveal. Like, even had Kelvin Johnson come out in the reveal with um with uh, Kirby Joseph. He also had Sheila Fork and a lot of Sheila chance too, which... A uh, Ford getting a, a Ford in a Ford in this thing getting a loud pop, and I did. And they wouldn't see that under Martha or William Clay. That's for damn sure. Like it's like I think Sheila one hundred percent gets a lot of praise for the turnaround with the Lions the last couple years, no doubt there. And of course Dan getting the loudest pop, which that isn't really surprising because it's fuck it's Dan fucking Campbell, and he's a goddamn god in this damn city. But yeah, you know, just, it was a, like, I honestly like the uniforms. It's a massive upgrade. They're like, easily, I think these uniforms could be a contention for best uniforms in the league. The one negative I have about this is that the jerseys were leaked this morning on Fanatics. I mean, to be honest, though, it was going to be hard to keep it from not leaking when you have nine, like, 900 different partners with the team. But it was only just the jerseys, like the like the uniform reveal is like the pants and everything. And of course, the black jerseys with the all black, like the all black goes well. As y'all saw with the with see with the Jameer Gibbs photo with the blue pants, I feel like that black and blue comp pant that black jersey blue pants combination. I think that fucking goes really hard there. And of course, the Lions got a new helmet for the alternates with the black jersey, where it's the all blue helmet. But it with a lion with a black with the with the black stripes and a black lions logo. So the black lions logo is officially back too. So yeah, we got three different all colored combinations. We have the blueberries, we have the whiteout, and now for the all blacks, we have officially the men in black. So yeah, we got three different all color variations this year. Honestly, as long as we don't go to the white and blue combinations on the road, we're all good. Honestly, for the home games, honestly, for the home games, um, do the all blueberries, and in the road games, do the all whites. And if anyone's wondering about the throwback jerseys, that the throwback uniforms that the Lions wear usually for Thanksgiving, from what I know, the Lions are still going to be doing that, but I believe it's only going to be like once a year for Thanksgiving, and that's it. But yeah. Honestly, and I and honestly, I want to see the, how the blacks look in the game. But yeah, but honestly, these uniforms look really good. Super hot fire. I really like them. I I think I think um I think they delivered, no doubt. Some people say it's overhyped, but honestly, who cares? Honestly, I think it lived up to the hype. 
But yeah, I want to see these jerseys look cool. And I also like the inside feature they have on the inside, you know, with the white jersey with the 313 in the collar. And the blue jerseys having the one pride in the collar. And then the black jerseys having Motor City in the collar. So that's pretty cool to see there. That's a nice little feature they added in there. If anyone's wondering, these jerseys are actually available to be sold on now. Um, uh, Fanatics. So I say this, if anyone wants to get these new jerseys, you better get them while, they can, while you can. Because these things are going to sell out fast. Who knows? We, they may, the Lions may not have any to sell down in downtown Detroit for the draft this next weekend. But yeah, I'll, but yeah, I might get a new, I might get one of the new jerseys down at the draft next week. You know, we'll have to see. I mean, there are a couple players I want to consider that I've been looking at possibly getting a Lions jersey for. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. There are a couple on there I, that I've been looking to get. But yeah, but yeah, these jerseys I like them. They're super hot fire. But yeah, I think that's my thoughts on the new jerseys. I like them. It's a massive upgrade over what we have. And also the blue helmet, the new that new blue helmet, it has a black face mask in there too. Like honestly, these uniforms are so fucking sick. And honestly, I'll say this though. You know what will make these uniforms a lot better? When it will, those uniforms they will look really good and very hot and nice in February 2025 when the Lions are hosting that Lombardi trophy up in New Orleans. Because as Sheila Ford said. Last year was only the beginning, and we're now in phase two. As the next goal is to win a Super Bowl. And honestly, I think this year's the year to win it. Like, honestly, Super Bowl should be the only expectation for the Lions this year. Anything short of a Super Bowl is a failure. It's Super Bowl or bust this year. And I think with these uniforms, I think these uniforms will help us get to that promised land of the Super Bowl. But anyway, and also, real quick before I wrap this up, though... For anybody that says that the new Lions blue jerseys look no, don't have any real differences from the old blue jerseys, what fucking universe are you looking at? Because I have both those jerseys side by side. As you can see clearly side by side, the differences between the two are very fucking huge because the ones last year had the analog clock on it, while this one it's the white block numbers, plus there's no silver in the numbers anymore. It's all white numbers, so... Fuck out of here with that stuff. But yeah, still, these jerseys are fucking cool. And yeah, and hopefully now with these jerseys, maybe now the refs can read the number when Taylor Decker reports as eligible this time. And if the refs still can't fucking read the jersey, read, read Taylor Decker reporting as eligible with these new jerseys, then maybe these refs fucking suck and need glasses. Anyway, I'm out of here. Peace. Go Lions.